Happy Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's Day, y'all. Do y'all see all of these beautiful roses up here? Isn't this gorgeous? What better way to spend Valentine's Day than, I feel like I have a whole garden up here. It's so beautiful and I love it all. Don't you want some of these roses? Oh my goodness. See, I have to give Passion Roses their flowers because they helped us decorate today with more than 2,000 roses. Do you see this? Now, if you want your happy place to look and smell as good as mine, you can shop 200 varieties of Passion Roses by scanning the QR code below. You can have this very same thing, so check it out. Now, Valentine's Day is super fun, and I am super excited about it. Are you excited about Valentine's Day? Mm. Of course, it's a special holiday for, you know, if you're in a relationship and you, you know, flirting and all of that stuff as a couple, but you can also celebrate your loved ones. You can celebrate your, your girl pals, you know, your friends, even, you know, your siblings, just those people who are special to you in your lives. And I would say, maybe I have a proposal idea for everyone. I think you should pick up the phone on Valentine's Day and call each and every one of those people that has touched your heart, means something to you in your heart and in your lives and tell them just how much you love them. Can y'all do that? Okay. Now, speaking of proposals, there's this viral video going around that I have to show y'all. A woman in South Carolina was recording a friend's wedding proposal. Uh, okay, baby, y'all need to check this out and see what happened. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Then the guest of the raccoon showed up. He just wanted to see the proposal. Look how cute he is. But then friend, Missed the whole entire proposal. Ah. Well, the raccoon wanted love too, don't you think? He was just trying to see what was going on. Listen, I think they should invite the raccoon to the wedding, don't you think? How, uh, it could be a special guest and have him a little plate, you know. But he just wanted to be a part of it. At least I hope because he showed, you know interfere with that whole proposal. They, they didn't even get it on video, but they got the cute little raccoon. So, I mean, y'all ready to start this Valentine's Day show? All right. Let's start this Valentine's Day show with someone we all love. My first guest is making waves in the music industry right now, and she just won her very first Grammy. Please welcome Coco Jones. Congratulations, Miss Grammy Award winning artist. You Thank you. You've been busy. Look at that. <laughs> You've been busy since the last time I saw you. I've been working. You've been working. You've been working too. You know, I've been working too, but <laughs> I am so proud of you. Thank you. Watching you just blossom and grow. And Thank you. Just seeing you just achieve your dreams. It's crazy. Wow. It really is crazy. I'm like, this year, what next? What do I dream for next? Because I feel like last year and the top of this year has just exceeded my expectations. So I just have to dream bigger now. Yeah, it's only the beginning. That is for sure. Okay, you received five Grammy nominations. Yeah. And then you won for best performance, R&B yes. performance. Yes. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. did you have a, like, did you anticipate a win? Did you have an acceptance speech ready at all? Well, I wanted to be prepared just in case, because yes. I didn't want to get up there and be so overwhelmed that I didn't know what to say. So mm -hmm. I did have a couple thoughts that I did, if I did get the opportunity, want to say. But um, honestly, I was just happy to be nominated five times. Yes. I really think that just blew my mind. That is major. Yeah. Okay. What was your favorite part about the awards? You know what? I actually really loved getting to talk to my peers mm -hmm. and my, my counterparts that I feel like I respect and I'm a fan of as well, especially when I get to hear their stories, like, you know, the real way, because we're all humans. We just happen to do this job of being an artist. So getting to talk to them the real way, I felt so inspired and just honored to be, like, looked at as one of them. You are. You really are. You. you really are. <laughs> And on top of that, I mean, you've been receiving flowers from like Gail King and Beyonce. They both sent you a bouquet of flowers. They did. They did. Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> that's always like a surreal moment when you hear from others and then they're mm -hmm. gifting you things yeah. and they're celebrating your journey with you. What was your reaction to when you received, you realized you got flowers from Gail King and Beyonce? 
Well, you know what? My house has turned into the Garden of Eden. <laughs> and so totally at this point, I'm like overwhelmed with the flowers. But <laughs> Gail blew me away. I think that was like the largest bouquet I've ever personally seen. Um, it took two men to like fit it in the Whoa. door. So I was like, this is crazy. And then I got these flowers. I'm laughing with my mom. I'm like, the amount of flowers in here is insane. And then I get this other, this other bouquet and we're like, okay, another, another round of flowers. I'm looking at the card and I'm like, B. I'm like, what B do I know? I'm like, <laughs> Bryce and Tiller? I'm like, Brent Fires? Me and my mama look at each other, we're like, Beyonce? Be it hit you, it was Beyonce. It hit, it hit and I felt the room get <laughs> quiet. And then I was like, delivery man, where is the origin of this, of these flowers? Please let me track down. But no, I think I was just blown away yeah. because it just feels so, it's like you meet your heroes, yep. you know? And they're nice mm -hmm. and they support what you're doing and they, and believe they see in you. you and they yep. believe in you. Like, that's every little kid's dream. Yep, that's like another reward, award, right? Absolutely. I totally understand. And then you got to share the Grammys with your beautiful mother. Yes, I how, did. How did she enjoy the experience and how was she when you received your award? I think it's just such a different, <laughs> such a different world now. Um, mm -hmm. She has way more memories of the, the fight and like the, right. the pushing through those doors. I was a kid at that time and I feel like she protected me from so much of the possible rejection that I just really didn't know everything that was going on. She mm -hmm. knows way more of what we had to do to get here. So I think she was just really overwhelmed by how different it all is now. And I think just as much as I've sacrificed, my mom has sacrificed right. a lot for me to get where I am. So I think it was really rewarding for her. I love hearing you say that. Because it hit different from mom, I'm it sure. Does. It does. And then the picture you guys went viral. I've seen. <laughs> People are convinced that like your mama like was your me maker. As my son calls me his me maker, your mom is your me maker. Like you look exactly like her. Yes. Right? Yes, literally. It's so crazy because it? I literally, when I was a kid, my mom would show me baby pictures of her and she'd be like, that's mommy. And I was like, no, that's me. And she was like, no, it's mom. Wow. And I'd be like, girl, it's me. And she'd be like, all right, it's you, it's you, it's you. It's you. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy. We really she, are twins. Gorgeous. You got a beautiful mother, that is for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Okay, and then this weekend is the NBA All-Star Game, and yes. you're singing the, the national, national anthem? I am. Oh, I my am. goodness. Yeah. How do you prepare? Like, you know? Well, this time I feel like it will be different because I'm doing it with a band, mm. and normally I just do it a cappella. Oh. So I feel like, great, we both have to be in that little time. You know how they give you that time? Yes, I know. It'd be like the most random time. <laughs> but I'm like, now it's both of us, so I like that. Yes. But, um, yeah, I just remember it and make sure I don't, you know, overthink when I get right. there. Right, you know? and enjoy it, have fun. Yeah. Like, I, you know, because you've been in the game since you were young, right? Correct, and correct. We got a clip of you when you were nine years old singing the oh, national anthem. Brother. I want to take a look at this. Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. Woo! <laughs> what do you think when you see yourself? I mean... I'm definitely always so surprised by how low my range was. Like, I chose the lowest <laughs> note to start. Um, but I just remember being so excited to be there. I remember I was telling my mom, like, when is it my turn? Like, let's go, yeah. let's go. Can they start this game? Come on. And then the crowd started cheering, and I was like, what? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I've always just, I feel like, been made for this. Yeah, you are. Like, you seem so comfortable, even that young, yeah. and just ready, you know? That, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a star right there. You have that presence. And you also got some height on you, girl. How tall are you? I do. I don't know, because some doctors say I'm 5'9", some say I'm 5'10", so I don't know. I get the same thing, Coco, but I think you got me beat. You think so? I think you're at least 5'11". You don't think so? You don't think so? No! Because my mom's 5'11". She's taller really? than me. I don't know. I really don't know at this point. Okay. I don't know. Well, you're super tall. And listen, you know, okay, so I'm going to see you at the All-Star Game, but I will be playing in the All-Star Game. You see that? So, do you have any basketball tips for me? Just, you know, keep your head in the game. If you, if you miss a couple points, okay. are you going to be trying to, like, what's, what are you going to be trying to do? Like, I got to try to shoot, girl, yes. What's the point if I ain't <laughs> taking my shot? You might be a rebounder, though. What's your truth? What, you know what? I'm going to contribute to the game. Contribute. If I got to, if I, I, whatever I got to do, I'm going to do it to the You fullest. might just be a great guard, you know? Okay. Just do your part and eat that part Like up. this? Uh, no, no. Uh. <laughs> Don't hit him with that unless it's distracting. You know, do whatever okay. you need. Okay. Get, you know, get your head in the get game. Get my head yeah, in, the in the game. game.
Well Good said by Miss Coco. Will you stick around for a little bit? Yeah. All right. More with Miss Coco Jones. We'll be right back. We're back with Coco Jones. Okay. Listen. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Thank you. Do you like to celebrate? Yeah, absolutely. I've done like Valentine's Day, of course Valentine's Day, uh -huh. but this year I'm trying to do like self-love, you know? I love that. Can you elaborate on that? Like, how do you plan to self-love? Well, I think like what are the things that I really like and how can I give myself all of those things in one day? Majority of it would be rest, mm -hmm. but I love the spa. I love like working out. I love a fun fitness class, mm -hmm. like a little dance class. Um, I love to just journal, like chill, not have to wear makeup, not have to do my hair. Yes. So I feel like it'll be all of those things, a combination of just restoring myself. I love that. I'm gonna have to take the page out of your book. <laughs> now, speaking of love, your char character Hillary from Bel Air had some love challenges. Yeah, so like, what can we expect from Hillary? Hillary's going through it. She's going through it. <laughs> She's going through it, and you know, we pray for her. But I think, um, <laughs> I think the important thing with Hillary is that I really wanted to come across that she doesn't have it all together. Mm -hmm. She really is just like me and just like my girls trying to figure it out um, and trying to figure herself out. But she, the stakes are high for Hillary and um, she's gonna have to make some life choices. Life choices. Season. Do you feel like you can relate to your character in any way? Yes, I think so. Hillary is a chef and she's an influencer and she's trying to, I guess, make a seat for herself at a table where they're kind of telling her who she has to be mm -hmm. and like what really works and she wants to just be authentic to herself. I feel like that's a very relatable story for me and all the young girl bosses who are just like, I love I'm yeah, gonna do it myself, you know? Yes, yes, great examples, I love that. Now, before you go, you have some exciting news about your EP. Can you tell us about it? Yes, we're releasing the vinyl for What I Didn't Tell You, my EP. I'm really excited. I think this EP, <laughs> it has um, just blown me away, the support mm -hmm. that I've seen, and I still have so much more that I want to give. And so um, I really just want to thank everyone with this vinyl that's coming out. And, um, you know, cheers to all of the upcoming vinyls. It'll be like a staple in my life, in my music direction. We love that for you. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Thank we you. will be cheering you on. Thank you for joining us. And will you come back and see us again? You know I will. All right. I'll be looking for you. Until then, I'll hold you down. We'll be right back. Last week, I had a whole lot of fun surprising a very sweet couple on FaceTime. Y'all take a look. Hey, Amber and Charlie. Oh, my God. God. There's a lot of facade out there, and I found a real woman. This is a woman of God. You better be excited I'm about your woman of God. We're in love with you guys. And it is it shows that you guys are in love with each other. We invite oh, yeah. y'all to just come on out to the happy place and see about us. We need this energy in the place. Yes, we do. Well, since it's Valentine's Day, I think we should bring them out. The beautiful happy couple from Austin, Texas. Please welcome Amber. And Charlie! Y'all energy so much. Thank you for Thank coming you, and just Thank being you. the bright light that you guys are. Thank I had to have y'all in the building. Okay, Thank so you. let's get into this thing. Okay, were you guys move. surprised when, when we surprised you on the face? Are you yes. serious? <laughs> we were shook it. Shook it. Oh my goodness. We could not believe what was happening. We were like, are we really FaceTiming <laughs> the Jennifer Hudson? And then we saw all you beautiful people in the happy place and we were like, we are here. We in here, Jay Hud showing for Jennifer. Yes. Oh my God, you're so full of life. I love this. Thank okay, you. so Thank what did your family and friends say when, when they saw you? Yeah, oh my gosh. Our parents were so excited. Mm -hmm. His dad immediately posted on Facebook. My mom was like, I'm gonna tell all the aunties <laughs> and uncles in the group chat. <laughs> and shout out to my family. You know, my Lolo came from the Philippines to America with $300 in his pocket to get a job as an accountant at Chrysler in Detroit. D-Town, what's up? And so basically my family, friends from all over the country, blowed on my phone. I had to put my yeah. phone in airplane mode. <laughs> yeah, and he called
called his grandpa at the assisted living home. I was like, can you please help my grandpa make sure he can watch the Jihad oh, show? Yeah. Oh, that is so sweet. I just want to honor our yeah. family. So. I love it. You yeah. have a similar heart. Like, your energy, your light is so bright. Can't y'all sense it and feel it? Like, <laughs> what is the secret? Yeah. So the key, I would say, to a strong relationship, um, well, there's a lot of things, but we're so grateful because we're celebrating seven years of marriage. Yes, yes this year. Yes. <laughs> and there's been ups and downs, yes. but we believe that keeping God at the center and the foundation of our marriage is what mm. keeps us together and is the glue to keep us together. Yes, and I, I know God is real because of her. Let me tell y'all, the weight is worth it. Never settle, never ever settle because I remember, you know, long distance relationship to proposing on, on one knee to my beautiful queen. I had written a, a poem, a song for a future woman I didn't know about. I had no idea. We were in painful relationships before we met each other. Mm. But when we keep Christ at the center, we weren't given the blueprint of how to have a good marriage, you know? There's, we come, she was raised by a single mother. Shout out to Mama J in LA. She was raised by a strong single mother. I was raised you know, by my mother and even come from an emotionally abusive home. We weren't given the blueprint, but Jesus is our blueprint. And if we can yeah. in the center, yeah. we can't lose. And prayer is powerful. Oh, that feels. <laughs> Listening, you could feel the God in your love. I really feel it. It's so beautiful, even the way you look at each other and the energy you exude. I'm curious to know, how do you normally spend Valentine's Day? Yeah, <laughs> Valentine's Day. We love trying new activities mm -hmm. and we love going big for each other. He's the romantic one in oh, the he's room. Oh, romantic, <laughs> oh. Yes, she is my queen. I thank the king for giving her and I put her on this wedding ring. I love her. <laughs> and so we love trying new experiences. And one time I brought a, a big Valentine's Day card, almost as big as her home from work. <laughs> I came straight from El Paso and I knew it was Valentine's Day. And, yeah. and now we're, we're here. He's good with the surprises. Ooh, <laughs> what's your idea of the perfect date night? Yeah, perfect date night is trying a new activity like pottery or yeah. stand up paddle boarding or even yes. zip lining or boxing. Oh. Like something that we can, <laughs> yes. Come on, get the packy out yeah. with, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Like trying something new together and creating those new memories. Uh -huh. yes. And even though we're not necessarily the best at them, we're just having fun together. Right. And we've yeah. tried pickleball too. I mean, yes. she's a killer on that court. Yeah. The Philippine <laughs> Serena. You better be her biggest cheerleader. Ah, yes. He's a good hype man. Yes. He is. Hopefully I mean, you guys are. She is are. so driven. And she, I mean, she, I'm so motivated by her, her drive to succeed. And it inspires me every single day. Her intelligence, her beauty and her glamour. She's the definition of beautiful. So. Okay, and the, the last time when we got together, yes. I challenged y'all, and y'all made That's right, good Hunter. with the challenge. Yes. Are y'all yeah. up for another challenge? Yes. And we were born for challenges, Jay. Like I know challenges. you were, because, ooh, y'all each other's chill leaders. So, <laughs> you know, we want to raise the game just a little oh, bit and take okay. it up another level. Like, you live in Texas, right? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and I know, you know, you had to ride a mechanical bull. <laughs> or they got real quiet. <laughs> You willing, not, you, you willing to try? You want to learn? Yeah, I mean, yeah, let's we'll try. Learn. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. okay yeah. we'll let yeah. you catch your breath. Okay. But we'll be right back. We're going to figure this thing out. we are just so happy. We're back with the lovely couple, Amber and Charlie. Y'all hear that? Ooh, that bull is revving up. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Okay, so y'all hear me out. All right. Listen, yeah. you ready for the challenge? Each of yes. you have to ride on the mechanical bull, which is right here. If both of you can, you have to stay for 30 seconds, okay? okay. And if you do, you get to win a beautiful prize. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. All right? Okay. okay. Yeah. I like that. But, yeah. but here's the catch. While you're writing, I get to ask you questions, and you have yeah. to answer them, okay. but it's about each other, okay? Got okay. you. All right? Yes. Y'all can handle Sounds this. Does that sound good? You got it, yeah. Y'all yep. think got they this. could handle it? <laughs> we got it, yeah. We got it. Hey, let's go, baby. Ladies first. Okay. Thank you. Got you. It. Ambers, do you see the hand? <laughs> One hand, two hands. Girl, I can't tell you how to ride a bull. <laughs> <laughs> You'll figure it out as okay. you go. Grab life by the horn, okay. girl. Yes. Yeah, you cheer on. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's going to cheer you on. Where's my clock? Do I get my clock? Oh my gosh. Okay, you, you got two. You okay. got 30 Looks seconds. So cute. Okay. All right. Here we my go. Girl, Here baby. we go. Hold on, girl. Hold my leg. All Ooh. right. You're holding on. I'm gonna let it get you some, okay? What's, what, what color is Charlie's eyes, Amber? What color okay. is that? I'm looking at you. What color ah! is his eyes? Ah! You know me. Ah! Okay. Okay. Well, what's, what's, what color is his eyes? Brown. Okay. Brown. What's Charlie's biggest fear? Ah! Fear. 
But you did it all with a smile. <laughs> and you answered two of them. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Great job. You want to help you. your love down. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. That was yeah. hilarious. She said I couldn't good. focus. <laughs> She did it's it, though, okay. and with the smile, y'all. I'm so you, proud you, of you. My cowgirl. You did that. All right. Thank you. Proud of you. Thank you. I am proud of you. Okay, yep, you stand right okay. here. You can coach him like he coached Thank you. you. Okay. okay, Charlie, it is your turn. Got you. I need you to what? Focus. But you can handle this, right? Yeah. You think he got it, ever? Yes. Okay. He got it. He got Where's it? Where's my clock? Let's go. I got to get the right cards. Hold yeah. up. Amber, you hold this. Get him rolling. Go ahead now. Oh, stop. Okay. What's Amber's middle name, Charlie? Who did ya? Okay. When is your anniversary? November 11, 2017. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got longer than me. <laughs> Man, was that even 30 seconds? I love it. I think yeah, she beat Charlie. me. Oh, my God. <laughs> he said, I think she beat me. Y'all think he, she beat him? Again? She, she was long, like, she lasted long, baby. Yeah. That was wonderful. How y'all feel? Ooh, that, that is a challenge. That was a challenge? It yeah. was hard. That was amazing. But it was fun. You yeah. did it all with a smile. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I, I think they still deserve a prize, right? Yeah. OK, you want to know what your prize is? Yes, All please. right, you are getting a six-night stay in the signature casita room at Fairmont, Mayacoba in Mexico. Yes, you are. You will enjoy a boat tour and the appetite for luxury meal plan, which includes all meals. And you're also getting round trip airfare because you deserve it. Your love is beautiful. Y'all wrote that bull. OK, and thank you, guys. We enjoyed you so much. You're such thank a life. So oh, my God, God you're amazing. You, Enjoy your trip. Live thank your best you. lives. Yes. We'll be right back. Since it's Valentine's Day, I invited an astrologer here to tell us a love is in the air for this year. Please welcome Dr. Jennifer Freed. I am so fascinated with astrology. Can you tell me, like, uh, about the elements of, of astrology? Well, there are four basic elements that are essential for all of us to mm -hmm. really develop in ourselves. Okay. There's fire, which is all about passion and desire and energy and adventure. Then there's earth, which is about being reliable and consistent and stable uh -oh. and secure. And then there's air, which is about being open-minded and inspirational and somebody that really listens deeply. And then there's water, and that's about being merciful and compassionate and empathetic. Nice, okay, this is interesting. And how did you get into astrology? When I was 19 years old, I had this phenomenal earth-shaking reading from Alvina. Mm -hmm. And then I knew this was my soul's calling and a gift from the heavens. Oh, okay, what, uh, right? What do you do to help people grow in their relationships through astrology? Well, astrology is the oldest tool on the planet for okay. understanding ourselves and understanding others. So when you really understand the birth chart, which is much more than the sun sign, you really begin to unpack what are your greatest gifts, what are your struggles, and what are your divine possibilities? Divine possibilities. Okay. Can, People always talk about the red flags. Can you tell me about the green flags? Can we talk shows? about you? Oh, you yes, okay. you can talk about me as well. We can talk green oh, flags all day long. Okay. Okay, so you are a sun in Virgo, which is all about being helpful and of service and very loyal. Mm. Okay, so <laughs> thank you. So, so one big green flag is be a friend of Jen because you will come through. That's who you are for your sun sign. Thank you. Now we get into your moon sign, uh -oh. which is your innermost <laughs> needs. Uh -huh. And that is the most sensitive sign of the zodiac. Your moon sign is in Pisces. Ooh. Pisces is a water sign, and Easy. this means you're the most sensitive, you're the most caring, you take on other people's stuff and baggage and you feel it so deeply. And so the green flag for you is be with people that are kind to you because your kindness has no limit. Mm. You're good. I got more to say about you. I would love to hear a little more. Okay, so then you have your Mercury, which is the way you communicate and the way your mind operates, and it's in Libra, which is all about balance and beauty and harmony. 
And you have Venus in Libra, which is the feminine energy, and it's in Libra, which is ruled by Venus, which is all about beauty and love. So you communicate what you love with balance and integrity. With balance and integrity. And all of this you can, you can read into by sign. By, by knowing what time you're born, uh -huh. where you're born, and of course what date you're born. So the green flags with you are, you are one of the most committed, kind, caring, thoughtful people on the planet. Mm. Now the red flag would be, watch your boundaries. Mm, you better read me down. <laughs> oh my goodness. And, and these are all the, the green flags. The green are that you're just extraordinarily generous and kind and loving. That's the green flags. Like, go girl, you've got that. Okay, thank you for that. And, and what is a, a chart? A chart is the picture of the planets at the moment you were born from the place you were born. It's very mathematical and geometric, and it takes years to study this. I have a PhD in psychology and also an international certification in astrology. It took me years to understand how to read this map of the soul. Mm. And then I'm curious to know, Okay, per the date or the time you were born, even if you're the sign of someone else, does that vary and change, you know, like your characteristics? Yes, of for course. For your sign? Everything's very specific uh -huh. from the moment you were born. And it can change within seconds of that moment in terms of a chart. Wow. Yeah, it's very complicated. People don't always understand that because we have pop astrology, which just says, oh, you're an Aquarius, you're a Taurus, you might not get together, that kind of astrology. But this is a science that's thousands of years old. I'm fascinated. Will you stick around for <laughs> a little bit longer? Okay, we will return with Dr. Jennifer. She's gonna give us some special readings. You don't wanna miss this. I know I don't. We'll be right back. We're back with the astrologer, Dr. Jennifer Freed. Okay, so we left off with talking about like my green flags. Can you talk more about like green flags in general? Yes, well, a lot of times people have this big misconception about astrology that you're only compatible with certain signs. And even Prince had this beautiful lyric, which he said, it doesn't matter who I'm compatible with, mm. just give me your extra time and a good kiss. Okay. And green flag is be with people that make you feel the better version of yourself. Right. Look for people that are fountains, not drains. You know almost immediately when you're sitting with somebody whether your energy picks up or it gets very low. Pay attention to that. Pay attention because... No matter what, Sonia. No matter what. Because to me, love is prioritizing time and giving a quality of attention. And you want to make sure those people that you're giving your love to, it's a high vibration. This mm. is your precious commodity called your heart. Be careful who you give that heart to. Yes, ma'am. Okay. With that being said, tell me more about your book, A Map to Your Soul. That's such a... Powerful title. My book, A Map to Your Soul, was born out of love because a friend said, I really want you to explain all this to me, but I'm not into astrology. So A Map of Your Soul is 12 chapters about every aspect of your life, from personality, self-image, to values, to communication, to home and family, etc. And each chapter shows you how to live a fully expressed life if you use each of the elements in that domain mm -hmm. of living. So for example, if you're in your home and family and you're only ever fiery, passionate, and sometimes angry, you aren't living into your water in your house, which is about sensitivity and music and feeling. Or maybe you haven't grounded in your house and made it a beautiful place to live that's very soft and comforting. So each chapter in the book shows you how to really get into all you can be. Because I've seen it, I believe it, that when you really tap into all your gifts, life is a magical mystery tour and one you want to take. Beautiful. Ooh, I will be looking into that. Okay, this is so good. Okay, so I have two amazing staffers over here, beautiful married couple, and senior producer, Michelle and Ian. <laughs> 
Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Will you do a special reading for us, Sanu? Yes, well, I've looked at your birth charts. I'm not gonna tell you the whole thing, but one of the things people love to learn about is their sun, their basic identity, their moon, their innermost needs, and their rising sign, their strategy socially, like how they appear in life. So we'll start with Ian. Ian, what a warm human being you are. I mean, this is a man personified by warmth. You have your sun in Virgo, like Jen Hudson. You have your moon in Virgo, double, sun and moon. And then your rising is Taurus. So the sun in Virgo, helpful, helpful, detail-oriented. The moon in Virgo, you live to make sure people have their needs exactly met. Mm. You're an expert at seeing what they need in advance and making sure you're there to serve them. And Taurus rising, you're steady, you're consistent, you are a strong holding energy for anybody that's around you. That's you, Ian. Thank you. <laughs> and Michelle's nodding yes, I'm married oh, to him, I, I should it. know. Totally. The last part you said really, yeah, that makes a lot of sense about him holding strong and Maybe a little stubborn sometimes, too, but in a great okay, way. Okay, we're talking green flags, Michelle. Okay, so, uh, Michelle, you're an interesting combo. What you see is not what you get kind of girl, but what you are is a Libra. Yes, Libras! Uh, Libra is very affable, very harmonious. People love to be around you because you're asking them, what do you need and how are you? You're great at picking up good conversation. Then your moon sign is in Aries, which is very courageous, very bold, very adventurous seeking, positive risk taking. And then your rising is Leo, which is shine, baby, shine. Mm -hmm. So in this coupling, we have this extremely interesting pairing of solid earth, which is that reliable, steady, and very comfortable person to be around. And then you, who's very other oriented, a pleaser, if you will, but with a lot of spice, a lot of sauce, a lot of spark. So sitting at home with you two would be so interesting because Ian's going, can we chill? Can we chill? <laughs> and you're still thinking about a thousand things you've been up to and what more you could be doing. And the key to this relationship, by the way, is getting out in nature and exercising together. Mm -hmm. That is what's going to keep everything in alignment, divine alignment. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised by how accurate that is. I mean, I'm speaking more for the reading you did of Michelle because I agree with all of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, and also uh, humble. When you're triple earth like Ian is, you're very humble. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you have any questions, Michelle? Um, I would say... You know, when you're thinking of, I think you had mentioned about the different signs. Sometimes people think, oh, you read this, you're this sign. They don't line up. But, like, for us, I guess, where would be areas that maybe we, we wouldn't necessarily line up, but because of who we are, we do? So that's something I really want to address. I'm in a relationship for 28 years, and it's going really well. But, wow, what a big effort it is to be with another human being. Hmm. We don't actually get with another person just to cruise. It's always gonna be a big growth and a big opportunity for self-awareness and self-love. So for you two, because your moon is in Aries, which is what you need is excitement and spunk and spark, and your moon is in Virgo, which is you need to serve, but you also need things to be a little more organized, the challenge with you two is gonna be for you, Ian, to rise to her fire and spark and go, go baby, let's dance, let's do some fun things. And the challenge for you will be sometimes to slow down and find out what Ian needs because he's not gonna tell you too much about that. Mm. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, accurate, that's... guys. Yeah. It sounds like you guys, this is so helpful. Now, before you go, I have one last question. Does a sign have anything to do with finding love? No, your sign has nothing to do with finding love. You all have perfect signs. There's no bad sign. I believe finding love has to do with would you wake up in the morning and want to marry yourself? Like, do you start out the day going, I'm all that? I'm as great as I could be, because if you feel that way about yourself, you're gonna magnetize extraordinary love to you. 
oftentimes people are looking to fill in for the ways they don't feel good about themselves. Mm. Make me feel attractive, make me feel loved, and that doesn't work. But if you start your morning off doing whatever it takes for you, dancing, etc., to go, I'm really worth loving, you go out in the world and everybody seems to be wanting some of that. Thank you from Dr. Jennifer. Will you come back again to see yes, us? This I has been amazing. To. to find out more about Dr. Jennifer Freed and where you can purchase her book, A Map to Your Soul, please visit our website. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.